today's video, we're talking all about the skunk clownfish, also known as the skunk anemone fish. These little guys may not be as popular as some of the other clownfish species out there, but they're just as cool and interesting. These fish are easily recognizable because of their pinkish orange body with one white stripe that you see along the back of the clownfish. This stripe is the reason they got their name. Now they can grow up to 4 inches in length and can be a great clownfish especially if you are looking for a clownfish that will host a bubble tip anemone. While most clownfish are relatively peaceful, the skunk clownfish can be semi-aggressive. For the most part, skunk clowns are very good clowns to have in a community tank so if you're keeping cardinal fish or tangs something like that they can be model citizens now for me i've noticed in my aquarium that they will pick at other clownfish so make sure you have a larger aquarium if you want to try multiple different types of clowns in your tank the skunk clownfish is not as aggressive however as the maroon clownfish those guys can be super aggressive but skunk clownfish can act out from time to time with that being said, when the skunk clownfish establishes its territory, it will swim out and even attack other fish to let them know that that is their space. What's really great about these fish is that they do not carry a hefty price tag compared to some of the other more designer clownfish, making them a great entry level clownfish in my opinion. Skunk clownfish are great for aquariums 30 gallons or more, it gives them plenty of space to explore and claim as their territory. Now, if you have an anemone in your tank, for instance, I have a handful of bubble tip anemones in my aquarium and my skunk clownfish spend majority of their time in and around their anemone. Skunk clowns do very well with bubble tip anemones and will fiercely defend their anemone home. Even if their anemone home moves across the tank, the skunk clown will travel with it and defend its overnight territory. Another reason skunk clownfish are a must have clownfish is that they easily pair up so if you're looking to have a mated pair of clowns then skunk clowns can be a good choice and if you get a good pair together they can regularly lay eggs in your aquarium this has happened a lot in my reef tank and i've always thought about raising little baby clownfish but that's another topic for another video while the skunk clownfish enjoys the bubble tip anemone in my tank you do not need an anemone to care for this fish just be sure to have plenty of hiding spaces in your rock work and create rock structures that they can call their home. As far as some general care requirements, the skunk clownfish is a really hardy fish that will do great in a variety of different sized tanks. They are omnivores, which means they do well with a variety of fish food and need a varied healthy diet, which should include foods like frozen or live brine shrimp, mysis shrimp, as well as flake food. Mixing up the diet and providing a variety of food is definitely a good one for this fish. In my reef tank, I'm feeding frozen mysis shrimp, flake food, and fish food from Reef Nutrition, so I kind of keep that mixed up a little bit, and my clownfish love it. These little guys are fascinating, unique, and a great addition to any aquarium. Whether you're an experienced aquarist or you're just getting started, skunk clownfish are definitely a species to consider. And if you want to check out another fascinating, unique fish, check out the Midas Blenny in this video right here. Thank you so much for watching, liking, and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next one.